What's good YouTube? It's Kevin here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel and today I am bringing you guys a review of the Essentials Photo Tee that dropped this past Friday, I suppose. And anyways, I kind of just impulse bought this item and then I kind of scratched my head. I was just like, wow, I've never reviewed this item for my channel before and I was just like, hmm, it's probably a good time to do so. So without further ado, let's check out the item first and then we'll get into the review. <laughs> off the review here is the piece and let's just jump straight into the details so here on the left chest you have essential fear of God branded in black it's a very very clean look it contrasts really nicely with the actual color of the tee which is a cream slash off-white I know they brand it as white but it really does look more like a cream to me in different lighting um it's like I mean even in this lighting you can kind of see how this color is very different than my white hoodie and so just in the nature of that alone. It's more like a creamy color. It's very subtle though, so you could easily mistake it for a white. Anyways, this tee retails for $45, which I think is a little bit higher end of a t-shirt price, but of course you are paying for a very quality screen print here located in the back. This thing is very, 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 very quality. Um, it even has like this, like, I'd say like a matte? It's like a slightly matte finish to the actual photo on the back. Um, it extends incredibly long. Like I think like the previous photos only came down to like around here, but this one goes really, really long. This is an important detail to highlight if you guys are planning on tucking in pieces like this because some parts of the photo might get into the tuck and that just doesn't look that great in my opinion, <laughs> at least on dudes. Um, of course, you have the standard drop shoulder fit, and um, speaking of fit and sizing, I actually went up a size on this piece. Um, let me explain though, I typically recommend you guys to size to your true to size. If you have normal length shoulders, then you'll be completely fine with your true to size. And the only reason why I sized up actually is because I personally have very broad shoulders and like, I actually hate it. <laughs> like, it's impossible to size into suits for me. And like, I'm pretty sure like my frame is a 36, but I have to size up to a 38 just because of my shoulders, which really blows. But anyways, ugh, enough about me. I sized it up because I have broad shoulders and I still wanted that drop shoulder boxy look. And you guys will see more on body when I actually like show you guys what this piece looks like on me. Um, it's a very, very interesting aesthetic when I tried on the small. I like looked at myself in the mirror for the small and for the medium for a really long time, but the small just ended up looking like it was a t-shirt that made me look fat and this one will look like a fit that I actually intended to oversize. So anyways, needless to say, I went with a medium and if you guys have broad shoulders as well, I would highly suggest sizing up um, to get rid of that problem and to retain the aesthetic that the piece actually is going for. Of course, um, that's all up to you. If you have any questions about sizing, leave them down below. I am more than willing to help you guys out with the sizing. Um, lastly, but not least, this is definitely an 100% cotton shirt. So when I was sizing it out, I knew that if I were to blow dry this, or not blow dry this, oh my goodness. <laughs> if I were to tumble dry this, I for sure would shrink this like a lot. And so anyways, that's kind of some things that I keep in mind when I look at like the material versus the sizing of things. So um, like I said, if you guys have any questions about this, leave it down below. I'll help you um, as soon as I can. And of course, yeah, it's a really elegant piece. And of course, I would always suggest purchasing from the Essentials line. Everything that comes out of this line like typically is quality. I mean, I know there have been cases where the Essentials like text gets like, you know, like it like falls off and like, you know, quality control may not be that great. I'm giving this to, as a disclaimer to you guys for like this drop, not like the photo drop, but the previous drop, like with the three M's and stuff like that. Um, yeah, quality control may be like on and off, but just make sure you look into it and see which pieces are the quality pieces that you guys should hunt down. Of course, I always suggest embroidery for brandings like this. Um, so if you can find embroidered versions of like the hoodies, it's like I reviewed earlier, it's definitely very optimal. Um, of course, since this was screen printed on, I'm pretty sure like cracking on this photo is really difficult. Like even with my hoodie, it was incredibly difficult to crack. It didn't even crack at all. And so yeah, 
Anyways, those are some parting words about this piece, and I'm just gonna throw this on to show you guys how it looks. But as always, thank you very much for tuning into this video. I hope you guys found it informative and helpful. Um, if you did, like and subscribe. Um, feel free to join more content to come. And as usual, you know, if you dislike the video, just remember to tap it twice just to make sure that you pressed it properly. And anyways, that's me for today. I will see you guys next time. Peace out and have a great week. <laughs>